This game lets me become everything I've ever hated, and I love it. Today we're looking at Super Mario Maker 3 on Scratch by Benjamin Wins 11. In case you're not familiar with Scratch, Scratch is a programming language and an online community where anyone can program and share stories, games, and animations. There are so many cool things about this project, so let's just jump right in. In this game, Mario has power-ups that he couldn't normally get in Mario Maker 2. The first one I want to feature is the Cloud Power-Up. When he picks it up, Mario becomes Cloud Mario and can suddenly create platforms that are clouds that he can stand on. He can create up to three clouds, and over time, they will slowly start to disappear. I love this power-up because it gives you the opportunity to explore more of a level but because you only have three clouds, you've got to use them wisely. Another super fun power-up that's in this game is the Hammer Suit power-up. Mario can devour the suit to become Hammer Mario and to wreak havoc on all of his enemies. Moving into the course editor, there's some really cool features I need to show you guys. We've been hoping for Mario Maker 2 to get a volcano and beach theme ever since the game came out, and well, they never came. But in this game, you can choose a variety of backgrounds, including the beach and volcano. All you have to do is use this little menu and switch between the backgrounds and pick the one that you like. Another limiting factor in Mario Maker 2 is the fact that you can only have one main world and one sub world. Well, Benjamin Wins 11 changes this in his game by giving us access to as many floors as we want. Basically, if you want to go from beach to volcano to underground to underwater all in one course, you can do it in this game. In Mario Maker 2, you have to use doors to stick in the same area or use a pipe to switch from the main area to the subworld. In this game, you can use pipes to go between any floor that you want, including the one that you're already on. Let's take a look at more of what we can do in the course editor. When I'm making levels in Mario Maker 2, I want to be able to mix and match what kind of blocks that I use. In this game, we can use different types of ground block that aren't restricted to the theme of the level that we're playing in. For instance, we can use airship blocks, castle blocks, and dirt blocks all next to each other and come up with something that looks really cool and different. And I absolutely love that you can click and drag to fill a whole area of ground blocks instead of having to place them one row at a time or multi-grab and copy and paste. Drag to fill is the best quality of life feature in this game for sure. In Mario Maker 2, we have a sound effects tab, but I've always wanted us to also have a decoration tab. In this game here, there is a wheel that's specifically for ground decorations. Pick whatever you want and start decorating. Again, he doesn't make us limited based on the background that we chose. So I can have a statue of Bowser, a palm tree, a cactus, and some bushes, and whatever else I want, all next to each other. This opens up so many possibilities for decoration in each course, and it can really make each one feel unique and stand out. In Mario Maker 2, if we want water in our level, we only have two options be completely underwater, or use the forest theme and then be able to control the water. Benjamin Wins 11 changes this here and lets us put water in wherever we want. Same thing goes with lava. You're not limited by the background that you chose. You are able to put water or lava or both in any course that you want. And that opens up so much more customization for each level. More great features for the players of your courses are the fact that you can put as many checkpoints as you want in your level. You're not limited to two here. You can put them as close together or as far apart as you want, and that helps you as the creator decide how difficult or how easy you want your level to be. You can even choose where your player spawns and choose where the ending of the level is. It's really frustrating that every time you build a Mario Maker 2 level, you have to start at the very left and you have to finish at the very right of the course. I love the idea that we can change up where we start and end the level to add variety in overall courses. Just like you can mess with auto scroll in Mario Maker 2, this game has a lot of options for the camera as well. In this game, you can actually adjust based on the X axis, the left and right, and the Y axis, the up and down. If you want your level to have more of the original Mario Bros feel, you can make it so that the camera does not scroll back and can only scroll forwards. 
I really feel like this game gives us more camera features that are easy to use versus the custom scroll in Mario Maker 2 that can be a little bit confusing. When we go into the music menu, we see a lot of familiar tunes that we already use in Mario Maker 2, but we also see some ones that we don't have access to. Honestly, it's just refreshing to hear different music while playing Mario Maker and to have different options to put into our levels. The absolute best feature about this game that I haven't mentioned yet is it's completely free to play. You don't need to pay for anything to be able to play this on your computer right after you watch this video. I'll show you how to do that right at the end. Now that I've said all the things that I think are super cool about this game, I will share some things that I think are downsides or areas that the game could improve. First off, there's only one game style. It's all based on the Super Mario Bros. 3 game style, which is great, but it would be really nice if we had some other options as well, even if it's just Mario Bros. 1, Mario Bros. 2. I also couldn't figure out how to switch characters. I don't think it's possible, but I also may have missed it. But if it isn't possible, I would love for that to be implemented. I don't think it would be too difficult to be able to switch between Mario to Luigi to Blue Toad to Toadette. It would be awesome to have Peach or Yoshi as a playable character. I definitely miss the good old days with the mystery mushroom costumes in Mario Maker 1. So it'd be really cool to implement different sprites to play as. Another issue is the limited types of enemies and bosses that they currently offer in this game. There's only three types of bosses and just a handful of enemies to choose from, which does start to limit your options when making levels. I hope Benjamin Wins 11 adds in more characters and keeps updating the game because I think there's so much potential with where he's at so far. The next one is kind of a personal thing. I felt like it was super weird to use WASD keys on my keyboard to play as Mario compared to a controller. I've never done that before, so I just had to retrain my brain. I will also say the user interface does take a little while to get used to. It's a little confusing, and I found myself having to pop out of the game to read the instructions several times before I really got the hang of what I was doing. There is a way to share your levels, but it's in one giant forum thread, and it's really hard to search for levels that you want to play. There's no rating system or anything to weed out bad courses, so you kind of have to just read through every page and see if there's something that catches your attention. When I was playing through some levels, I got some interesting ones and a lot of little Timmy levels out there. If this video gets 4,000 likes, I'll make a level for you guys based on whatever the top comment on this video is. Now, all you have to do to play this game is look in the description and click this link right here. It'll take you to the game. You can immediately hit play and you can go try this stuff out for yourselves, guys. I'm Aristotle, and thanks for watching.